Hey guys, um, I am getting ready to try to fusion weld, fusion socket weld, uh, some HDPE pipe on my do-it-yourself geothermal system. I hired the well field drilled because that's more than I could handle without buying about $20,000 worth of equipment. Um, and they have left me with these two sockets, uh, these two HDPE pipes coming across the wall. And I need to fusion socket weld these pieces together. Now, being the a consummate do-it-yourselfer and the person who is too cheap to buy the proper tools, I bought a $59 Amazon tool, and with that $59 Amazon tool, um, I'm going to try and do this socket weld. Now, before you say anything crazy about this, I have spent quite a lot of time researching and quite a lot of time working on this, and I have built the proper size dies. I need to show you these dies because that's pretty much uh, the most important part of this whole thing. It's easy to buy the heater. Buying the dies is uh, probably something I should have done, but I've made, machined my own. So this is my $59 uh, Amazon socket welder with my homemade dies. And these dies are spun very carefully on a lathe to be just, um, just loose enough that you can insert the fitting with a press fit while it's cool. And with a press fit, it takes a pretty good amount, but there we are. Fitting is inserted, just barely. Um, and then on the other side, we're going to be attaching this elbow, and it press fits onto the other side. And this is going to heat it up to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit, although I'm sure it's in Celsius because it was all metric. Um, the sockets that it came with were uh, the wrong sizes for any US pipe, but that's part of why it was as cheap as it was. Uh, so I went ahead made all of this and I'm getting ready. Now I'm not going to do these ones first. I've got to put an elbow between this and this. I've already done the top part of this um, and I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I did a couple of test runs on some extra fittings and did some destructive testing to verify that it was actually going into position properly. And if I screw this up I have to call a plumber. Um, I've got enough pipe here that I could still go one more time um, and have a professional do it if I mess it up. But I prefer not to call the professional because, of course, we know that that's expensive. So this is what my die looks. Probably the biggest difference between my dies and their dies. Mine don't have the fancy nonstick coatings, so I can see a little bit of HDPE smear on this. But it doesn't appear bad, and it sure looked good. My, my sockets sure look good. So we're going to go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to start by putting the elbow that you see right here onto the end of one of these and um, we are going to do our best to make that happen. First things first, we're going to go ahead and plug in the machine. You should see the green light come on and we're going to let it heat soak. That's going to take it about 10 minutes to get up to proper temperature and everything to get all nice and heat soaked before we're going to try this. And then this one is going to go on this side this is going to go on this side and according to the manual we are going to hold for 20 seconds and then we're going to go ahead and then we're going to push them, push them together. Now there's one thing I don't have. Um, the professionals have these cold rings and the cold rings are something that are done with, uh, that are there to keep the pipe from melting too far. Um, I went ahead and made my own cold rings again because I'm cheap and I didn't want to spend 80 bucks on a cold ring, although by the time I spent all this time on the lathe and all of that, I might should have just spent the 80 bucks. Here's my cold ring and I am going to connect this cold ring on with a hose clamp. So we're just going to pop this over a, a hose clamp over the top of this and that will be our cold ring. There's our hose clamp. And there is our cold ring in place. Okay, it's been about five minutes. I've got this uh, unit clamped down because so far the biggest complaint I've had is that it falls off the stand when I go to work with it. Um, it is cycling on and off now, which means we are approaching temperature. Um, I've got a little piece of uh, polyethylene pipe here, and if I hold it up against that, um, if I hold it up against the socket, it melts onto the socket, but it doesn't just melt right away. 
So we are getting into the right temperature range. I'm probably going to leave it a little bit longer. Um, I do want to show you my, my socket here. You can see the inside of this socket is all dirty, and that's because it took, it was machined to take the inside, uh, takes the one and a quarter pipe that I had, and the outside will fuse the socket on the two inch pipe that I've got. Um, I was pretty happy with how all of that came out. And of course, on the other side, I'll be putting the uh, standard side across here. But I think I'm going to give it another five minutes. I'd really rather wait plenty of time to make sure everything comes up to the proper temperature than not do it right again. Um, because if this doesn't go right, I will uh, uh, have to call in the professional. And uh, that would seem really rather silly at this point after I've spent all this time doing it myself and all this money. Uh, so here goes nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Pulling apart. Come on. Fusing together. There we go. Get her all the way in there. There it is, full contact. Ten seconds. Again, I'm not in any hurry on this. Um, I've got to make it come out right. So I'm not really worried about it. You can see a lot of a lot of melted pipe up on that die up there. I'll scrape that off before I start the next one. And we'll see how things go. All right, that's been our 30 seconds. Let's do a quick inspection of the weld. Remove the cold ring. which isn't cold anymore. What a surprise. And there you can see right along there that bead of melted metal. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Um, that is going to hold without any difficulty. So can you do a do-it-yourself pipe fusion weld using a $59 Amazon machine? Yes. Should you? Probably not.